a good morning or early afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for tuning in here to Mining Stock Daily. We have a corporate update from Aurelius Minerals today. Happy to once again welcome in CEO Mr. Mark Ashcroft. Mark, follow up from latest drill results that were published, I believe it was Monday morning this week. Uh, continue to hit nice grades at the Orius East Gold Project, uh, holes four and five. Uh, Let's just throw it out there. 9.6 meters of 14 grams per ton gold, including just over a half meter of 182.4 grams per ton gold. Solid intervals here. Yeah. Hey, Trev, great to, great to see you and uh, great to be here. Yeah, you know what? I think um, it's hard to argue uh, with these results. And I think what what's really quite telling, and I, it's always hard on a podcast, but I direct people to that latest press release because we spent a lot of time with a graphic artist to try to demonstrate what this looks like underground. And this is the first time we've seen this many pierce points across uh, a horizon or a, or a vein. So um, that's what's exciting. You know, hole four, um, you know, we had 118 uh, grams uh, per ton over a meter. Um, you know, hole five's over offset from that. And we're hitting the same sort of grades um you know holes six and seven visually we're hitting the material still waiting on those assays and we have two other holes that have sort of struck and pierced that that vein as well so we're learning a lot of information and um we can also increase that tenor uh through mineralization below that that vein that starts taking us to stuff like you know um nine meters of 14 grams a ton and and 10 meters of 11 grams a ton 12 grams a ton so We've got something I think we can we can work with, and this is just one of these veins. I think you know there are others in this system. Yeah, I mean, so when you're talking about the veins, and in, in you, you did place an image here in the news release uh, highlighting these gold zones, uh, zones seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, down to thirteen. Uh, so obviously, a lot of mineralization uh, to go after here. So I mean, this is just. It's, it's, I mean, it, it literally is just the beginning of really increasing uh, the resource here at Aureus. That's that's exactly what this is. This is really, this is our first bit of reconnaissance drilling, to be blunt. This is only from drill pad number two. Um, you know, I mean, we are, we're very economical. Um, you know, we try to make our, our dollars go a long way. I think in total, including the surface drill we pulled over to the east, I think we're going to have about... 17 drill holes done on this on this property um, on the east alone, like excluding that surface drilling we did on the west. So between the underground and the surface, we, you know, we've got some really good holes on the, you know, on this on this property. But really, like we wanted to confirm there was mineralization in gold there. We wanted to confirm the high grade gold. We identified, you know, this this finer gold um, in the sediments between these, you know, these veins and. And this time in zone nine, we're starting to see that coarse gold more consistently. So it's better information than they've ever had on the property. Yeah. Uh, just out of curiosity, what might be the strike length here? Yeah, um, we're probably talking from, you know, from the west limit of the east property, which is the Hurricane Cove Fault, to, you know, to the... Um, to the east limits of the property, I think it's in the neighborhood of about three kilometers. I um, I always, yeah, it's about not not quite three kilometers. Looking at the scale that we have on uh, on our slide in the um, in the presentation, we've got a pretty good image of that. And then if you go down to our you know the west project, um, which is pretty much due south now of the of the east, it's only about nine hundred meters. So, and that's an interesting fact. Our deepest hole at the east is 900 meters. Our west deposit is only 900 meters south of the of the. So this is I, I got, my point is we've got a big mineral system here, and the the west I think that runs. That's running closer to f almost four kilometers probably. So we've got a pretty big trend here. We've probably got between the two five five k. Potential for scale. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's a it's a system. I mean, not. I mean, you know, we're we're talking expansion to you know on strike length, but also, I mean, you, you continue to drill deeper here. Oh yes. Um, yeah. We. You know, it, it's it, it's interesting because you know I've been following the story for a year or so now, 
a lot of conversations with you and it's like, you know, it's, I, I, I see what you're doing here and you've set out and you're doing exactly what you've always said you were going to do. Um, it, 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 it's, it's, it's really coming together, Mark. You know, it, it, it's, listen, I'm as frustrated as the next person with, you know, the, the share price, but you know, I look back and the share price wasn't at this point <laughs> a year ago. So, you know, so we're, we're up on 12 months, but the reality is, I think it's a, it's a difficult one for people to understand there, you know, this, this, there was a little bit of hair on the asset and that's one of the reasons why we, we got such a good deal on it. Um, and we're doing a lot of things differently. People say to me, you know, Oh, the last operators went, went, went bankrupt. And, and I say, well, you know, yes, they did. And, you know, what are you doing differently? I said, well, first of all, I'm not mining, so I'm not going to go bankrupt. Um, you know, we don't have debt that we have to pay, so we're not going to go bankrupt. And we're drilling this. Uh, and that's the one thing that, you know, nobody had done a lot of. And we're drilling it and we're seeing, you know, we're seeing the results that we want to see. And we're getting better information than anyone has had previously. I think I included in that press release, too, the cumulative Meters. There was only about 20, 23, 24,000 meters of drilling done up until we came here. You know, we've done six, you know, just over 6,000. So, you know, we've done 25% of the drilling on this property right now. And, and that's only from drill, two drill pads. So just put that in perspective. You know, there wasn't a lot of drilling on this thing. Mm -hmm. Well, in the drilling you have accomplished and will accomplish uh, when it does come time potentially to actually mine. Uh, you're going to have enough data there, it seems like, to do it more efficiently than what was done previously. Yeah, so I think I think what's really important is that, you know, there are really two elements that I, and we've talked, spoken about this, there's, there's a few things I care about, but um, as a mining engineer, um, as long as a geologist can tell me what's ore and what's waste, that, that's the only geology I need to know. Um, once once we understand that, it's the, the most important part of this is geometry. How does this deposition this deposit sit in three dimensions in in underground and that's so important because that's how you 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 maximize and optimize extraction and and what i really like about this drilling that we're doing is we're hitting and you know we're, we're not talking about saddles as much anymore because those are a bit confusing to the market people think saddles are short because i mean you, you wear a saddle to ride a horse um, a horse isn't that long. So, so that's why we're talking about mineral horizons because these horizons are very extensive. You know, they, they have a great strike length. But they also repeat on, on each other. And where we get thick um, veins and, and horizons, and those could be 9 meters, 10 meters, like we demonstrated in Zone 9. But we can also see smaller uh, horizons. And, you know, we can do two things. One, we can focus on wider horizons or we can potentially block several narrower horizons together and give ourselves a mineable target potentially. And so that's what we're, you know, that's what's going to happen with this drilling. And then we're going to put that into the geological model and the, the geology, the, the in situ situation will dictate how we go forward. Yeah. Um, you're sitting at a market cap right now, about $13 million. Uh, going back, I mean, you, you, you have that legacy mine permit. You have the permit. Yeah. It, if you were to not have that permit and then in the work that you would need to do to get there, wouldn't that be pretty dang close to just reaching wherever your market cap is now? Oh, easily. I mean, I think, and I, I really think that that's something that, that the market hasn't appreciated. There's tangible value in that, in that permit. Um, it's not easy to permit a mine in any jurisdiction um, it, it, and when I say not easy, I mean, there are steps to do it, but it's time consuming. There are certain periods that are, are, are fixed. So, so there's value in that permit. And, um, you know, you only have to look at our neighbors, um, Atlantic gold, um, you know, owned by St. Barbara's. I mean, you know, they, they show, they show, um, you know, a decrease in, in forecast annual production in about 2023 because they've got some permitting, uh, issues that they're going to have to, um, deal with. So, so that I mean, if that's something that if that's a, if something that they're looking at as as being you know a, a potential negative, then I've certainly got to look to the market and say I have a permit, we have a permit, Aurelius has a permit. There has to be value in that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it gives you the opportunity, and I know this is definitely forward looking. I mean, the 
the strategy now is to drill, find more mineralization, redefine uh, the geological model. Uh, but what? But down the road, you know, because you have that permit, it's uh, you could be so versatile here with how you kind of move along with at, at Aureus. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I think what's really, you know, what's what's quite compelling is that that zone nine, uh, you know, where where it, where it lies and where those most of those hits were. That's only sixty five meters below the existing infrastructure you know so these these aren't you know these aren't far away um so you know even if we needed to do some development to get down there to understand uh the geology and and remember we, when you're when you're drilling closer to these horizons because you know there is you know there is a there is some uh finite width to them like you know laterally not not thickness but laterally uh so, you know, if, if you're sitting above them and you've got to put these holes out at different angles, there, you are limited to the number of pierce points you can get through, um, you know, these, these veins, the further away you are from them. So that's part of the advantage of being underground. You know, we're, we're 180 meters closer to these things than, than you would be if you're from surface. So they're not far away. They're not far away. Uh, so you've got you've got a couple of holes pending here. It gives a rundown, just a, a another glimpse into what's coming down the pipeline from Aurelius. Well, we have uh, probably you know we still probably have half of our assays um, coming. I mean we're we're waiting now. So switching locations, just 900 meters south, we're we're waiting on um, a slug of assays from the from the west. That's that surface drilling. We I think we did four, five pads from there. Um, and um, very, very similar structure to what we're seeing um, at the east. And then um, we just finished drilling, or we're just finishing drilling. So we, we crested the 6,000 meters that we wanted to do on the east. Um, we have a hole that's continuing right now. So I would say the bulk of those, so we still actually have some samples that are being sent to the lab, but I'm, I, I'm not holding on to this beard for those. Um, so those are, <laughs> you know, those are, those are probably nominally six weeks away, but we, I expect the other ones should really, you know, should really come in. The vast bulk of them from November, December should be, should be in. All right, Mark. So. Well, we look forward to catching up with you once again for an update as those assays do come in and any other news that does hit the tape here. So appreciate your time. I know it's a busy couple of weeks for you with uh, some more virtual conferences. <laughs> it seems like the next three weeks, but uh, hang in there and uh, beautiful tie, by the way. <laughs> you know me, Trev, me and my tie. <laughs> That's Mark Ashcroft, CEO of Aurelius Minerals. They trade on the TSX Venture with the symbol AUL. The information presented should not be considered investment advice. Mining Stock Daily and its affiliates are not responsible for any loss arising from any investment decision in connection with the material presented herein. Please do your own research or speak with a licensed financial representative before making any investment decision.